Okay, so you've booked onto a Lares Trek, and now you need to think about what you're gonna pack for your Lares Trek. If you book with a bucket list company, you'll be given one of our kit lists, and on here, there's some essential items that you need to take, as well as some recommended stuff as well. But if you haven't booked with us, you can still download this kit list PDF from underneath the video to see what's on the list. Now, if you're on a bucket list trek, the chances are you're gonna be provided with a duffel bag to do your trek with. When you get to the country, um, they will give you one of their bags to load your stuff in just for the trek, which means you can then leave your bag at the hotel with all your other stuff in, because you'll be spending quite a lot of time in Lima, quite a lot of time in Cusco, where you'll need additional stuff that you're not gonna need to take with you on the trek. But just in case, take a spare bag anyway. So I still always travel with a duffel bag. So on a Lares trek, you're gonna be trekking for three days with the fourth day being to Machu Picchu, and you're gonna have two nights camping and then one night in a hotel in Aguas Calientes as well. So you're not gonna need that much stuff for your trek. Now, you're kind of on a Lares trek, there is a weight limit for your bag to be carried and it's round about seven kilos. And then that's just for your duffel bag, not what's gonna go in your day pack as well. So you need to kind of, you can't take everything with you and you're literally only gonna be trekking for a few days. So you shouldn't need to take too much with you anyway, but we'll just go through what I'm gonna take with me on a Lares trek. So the first thing you're gonna need is a nice warm sleeping bag. This one here is a three to four season and it only weighs 680 grams and it's a down sleeping bag. Now on the Lares trek, you will be provided mats in the tents for sleeping on. They're perfectly comfortable, um, but some people might want to take their own inflatable one if they want to, because they're not an inflatable mat maybe like you're used to. But when you're thinking about sleeping bags, this is the thing that will take up a lot of your weight in your bag, unless you go and get yourself a lightweight one, because some sleeping bags are like two and a half kilos. So have a think about how much your sleeping bag weighs before you go away. So that's gonna go in my duffel bag. Other things we're gonna need are a pair of boots to trek in. Um, you don't need a pair of B2 boots, a lightweight pair of trekking boots are fine for the Lares Trek. Now these are more of an approach shoe with a higher ankle on them, so they're still like a boot, but they're super lightweight, super flexible, and super comfy to wear. So these are the sort of thing that I would wear on a Lares Trek trip. Um, these are Gore-Tex as well, so they are waterproof and will keep my feet dry. So they're not gonna go in the bag because I'm gonna be wearing those and keep my weight down in my bag. Next thing you're gonna need is an insulated jacket, either a down jacket or a synthetic jacket. This is a synthetic one. Um, again, they're super lightweight. They're gonna keep you warm in the evenings because you are gonna be at altitude for quite a lot of the trek. So you're probably gonna be over 3,000 meters for the majority of a Lares Trek. So you want something in the evenings that's gonna keep you warm when you get into camp. So I'm gonna keep this one in my day pack because when you stop for lunch, when you stop for a break, you might just wanna get it out and put on just to, to keep yourself warm once you've actually stopped walking. Next on the list, hat. Obviously, you're gonna be at altitude. Again, the sun's a lot brighter when you're up there. If you've got a nice clear day, you wanna keep the sun out your eyes. So a peaked hat is advisable to take with you at all times. Waterproofs. You're going to need a waterproof jacket and waterproof trousers. Um, again, like we said, you are at altitude. The chances are in the mountains, you are going to get some rain at some point and they need to live in your day pack as well because you never know when it's going to rain. So you need to keep those handy at all times. So I'm going to keep those out to put into my day pack ready to go. Clothing wise, like I said, you're only going to be trekking for three days and then you're going to have a hotel stay in Aguas Calientes and then you're gonna go up to Machu Picchu for your day four before heading back to Cusco. So you don't need to take too much clothes with you. So I've got a set of clothes here. I've got some wicking t-shirts with me that I'm gonna take with me. And I, you know, within the weight limit, you'll get four of these in quite easily. So I'll have four of these, and then I'll have two pairs of trekking trousers and a pair of trekking shorts as well just in case we do get a nice warm day to walk in. So they're gonna be on me to wear, and then in here, and I use these packing cubes because it just makes everything so much easier to find when it's in the duffel bag. But in here, I've got my spare um, trekking t-shirts. Obviously they're not cotton, or we want them wicking away. I've got a pair of shorts and another pair of trousers just in case those get wet. 
In this one, I've got enough clean underwear and socks for the whole trip, clean pair every day. Again, you've got enough weight limit to, so you haven't got to wear one pair of pants and one pair of socks for the whole trip. And then in this one, I've just got a couple of buffs, a warm hat for the evenings, and a warm pair of gloves as well. So that can just stay in there. On the Lares trek, you might also want to put a um, pair of sw uh, swimming costume in because we do start the trek at the Lares hot springs. So before you even start trekking, you get the opportunity to go to the hot springs and therefore you're going to want a towel as well to dry yourself off before you start the trek. So swimming costume or a pair of shorts, they'll dry pretty quickly and then a towel at the same time. Obviously you are going to be camping on the Lares trek. It's dark in the evenings, so you're going to need to have a head torch with you to find your way around your tent, to find your way around the camp, to find your way to the toilet tent in the evenings. You don't be doing any walking in the dark, but so you just need a head torch with enough batteries to last you for a couple of evenings while you're camping. Also, I've got my first aid kit. Everything that I need in here, paracetamol, ibuprofen, aspirin, um, anything else that you're going to need, Imodium, Dioralite, any personal medication, also things like plasters and blister plasters. Make sure you take all that with you and keep your first aid kit in your day pack because you're going to need to have access to that at all times. You don't want that being taken off in your duffel bag and not being reunited with it until the end of the day. A pair of sunglasses, obviously again you're at altitude, it can be quite bright with the sun, so you want to make sure you've got sunglasses that wrap around so don't let light in from the sides either. So a good pair of sunglasses are really important. I'll take my travel pillow with me. This is an inflatable one. Again, it doesn't weigh anything. It's super lightweight, but it just gives you that piece of comfort in the evening to have a good night's sleep for those two nights that you're camping. Hydration wise, you've got some options. Obviously, during the evenings, your camp crew are going to boil water for you and then you're going to be able to go in, help yourself to the, to the water and fill your bottles up. Um, you might want to take something like a Nalgene bottle. Um, personally, I will take a water to go bottle. These will clear all of the water. You can fill these up from the river, which you'll have plenty of opportunity to do on the trek. You pass loads of rivers. So you don't need to take lots of water with you because you can purify it as you go. So these are super handy because you don't have to start the day off with two of these with two liters of water. You can keep the weight down on your backpack by only taking one water to go bottle and then just keep filling it up as you need to and when you need to. Obviously, you can also take a hydration pack. This will go in your rucksack, the tube comes out the top and you can drink it as you go. Personally, I don't like these for a couple of reasons. One is, is there's too many parts that could potentially break. And if you do break it while you're away on a trek, then you, you're not gonna be able to fix it. And the other one is, is people don't realize how little they are drinking through these as they sip through it during the day. So if you are gonna take one of these, I would also advise you have a backup as well. So maybe a Nalgene bottle and one of those. So if anything does happen to this, you can still have a bottle with you during the day. Obviously you are gonna be out of power for three days. So you might wanna think about putting a power pack in so you can charge your phone for photos. There'll be nothing worse than you getting to Machu Picchu and then having no charge left on your phone. So get yourself a battery pack that'll enable you to charge your phone up enough. Likewise, nowadays, everyone has a smartwatch. You might need to charge that if you're tracking your trek, etc. cetera. Um, so a big enough battery pack that you can charge multiple times with things on. Um, I've also got my layering system in here. So I've got a jumper and I've got a um, down G-Lay as well to add to those layers to help keep me warm during the trek. You don't need to take too much stuff with you because again, you're only actually gonna be trekking for like two and a half days in reality. So you're camping, you've got the opportunity in Aguas Calientes to have a shower. So you don't need to take a great deal of kit with you on this one. So you can easily get the kit down to seven kilos without a problem at all. I always take one of these with me. This is a, an Exped stowaway duffel. I just use this for my dirty washing bag, keep everything separate um, so the rest of my bag in clean clothes don't smell while I'm away. So something that you can wrap your dirty washing up is, is super important as well. Moving on to the day pack. Obviously you are gonna need to be carrying some stuff with you as the day goes on. Um, I, I need to carry a little bit more than most people. Um, 
first aid, a bigger first aid kit, etc. So I use a 35 to 45 litre rucksack. You could get away with a 25 litre sack, um, but obviously by the time you put all your jackets in there, your first aid kit in there, you don't want to be stuffing everything in and not being able to find everything, have to pull everything out. So having a bag with a little bit more room, I would advise to make sure you're not having that problem. Also, I would always get a rucksack liner that you can stuff into your bag and pack everything into it because, you know, these do come with rain covers that you put over the top of the bag, but that doesn't stop the water from coming down the back and then going in through the back of the bag. So I would always say, keep everything in dry inside and then lock it up inside into a, a dry bag. So that's it for the Lares Trek. The only other thing you're gonna need to think about is snacks. Um, you'll need snacks for a couple of days. You get fed so well on a Lares Trek, you shouldn't need too much, but if you want to bring bags of Haribo or sweets, obviously you can buy that when you get to Cusco or Lima, um, but if you wanna bring it from home as well, you can do. But just remember, you've only got seven kilos in one of these. This now should weigh about five kilos with everything that I've got in here. So I've still got a couple of kilos that if I wanted to add snacks in or something else, I've got a little bit of leeway there, or I could just keep them in my day pack and carry them that way. If you've got any questions on the Lares Trek, please do contact the office. Like I say, download the kit list, and um, if you've got any questions, just ask. Enjoy your trip, bye-bye.